Hi everyone, Grant for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video, you'll learn how to compare images when performing VFX and grading in the Flame 2021.1 products. This is quite an essential function if you're comparing the progression of an effect, one look to another look, or simply comparing the current frame to a still reference. So we'll be covering this functionality in the different parts of Flame and you can use your own materials to follow along. So we'll start off in the effects environment and then move on to the batch node compositing environment. Let's start off with the basic comparison workflow. So here is a shot in a sequence and you could be applying a quick grade or VFX to the image. Now in order to save this look or VFX as a reference image, you press Ctrl G to grab the frame. This launches a dialog window where you can name your reference for later identification. The default name is Reference, but this can be changed in the Tools TLFX tab in the main preferences. You can also edit the name and even incorporate metadata tokens to help with the naming. So I'll call mine First Look. You can also choose to bake any viewing transforms if you're colour managing your project. Click Add and this frame has been saved as a grabbed reference image. Go ahead and quickly create another look. Now if you're happy with the default naming in the preferences and you want to bypass the naming dialog window each time you grab a reference image, just press Control Shift G. Finally, make one more change to your look that you'll compare against your saved references. Now in order to do an image comparison, you can click the Compare pull-down menu and choose from a range of different comparison modes. You have Blend, Grid, Difference, Side by Side and a variety of split modes. To toggle through the modes with a keyboard shortcut, just press the Pause button or F15. I also want to mention that each compare mode does have the ability to be mapped to a keyboard shortcut, but they are not assigned by default. Now to turn the compare mode off, press the Print button or F13. These are the same keyboard shortcuts that work with the compare modes in the timeline. If you're a long time Flame user, the old Control B keyboard shortcut still works, but only for the effects and batch environments. Now let's go with the angle split. The blue split bar allows you to compare the live version of your image against the last saved reference. If you go back to your tools and start making different adjustments, you can see the live version update compared to the grabbed reference image. If you wanted to change to another reference image, you have a few options. You can click the Reference pull-down menu and under Grabbed References, you will find all your saved reference stills. If you prefer using keyboard shortcuts to change the reference image, you hold CONTROL and press the scroll lock button to cycle down through the list or the PRINT button to cycle up through the list. Now if you prefer a more visual approach of choosing your reference images, the third way is to use the Explorer. If you do not see it in the effects environment, you can use the Flame main menu or keyboard shortcut to display it. When you change from the Timeline Effects setups to References, you will find all your reference images. Simply double click on any reference will update the comparison image in the viewport. You can also manage your references in the Explorer by moving them, as well as renaming, colour coding and deleting them if necessary. Now one point I'd like to mention is that it is possible to compare images of different resolutions. For example, I'll choose this reference image as the comparison. So you could be comparing a low res previs version to the main images. You can pan and zoom the viewport as before and this will keep the images locked together. If you only want to move the reference, hold SHIFT SPACE and drag on the viewport. If you want to only scale the reference, 
hold Control Shift Space and drag on the viewport. And finally, if you prefer to adjust the reference numerically, just go to the References pull down menu and edit the reference. Here you can enter in your numbers and even reset any reference adjustments. So multi resolution image comparison is easily handled. Now, something else you can also compare to in the effects environment is any of the timeline context views, as well as any of the inputs and object views. So, looking at the reference pull down menu, you could switch the reference to media front, and now you can compare the graded version of the media with the original. So you have plenty of choices as to what to compare to. Now when it comes to the comparison modes, they are just as flexible in terms of choice and settings. Currently, you've been using the angle split. You've noticed how you can use the blue bar to change the comparison angle, but you can also grab the pivot at the bottom left and move the split bar around. If you open the Compare Mode pull down menu, you can also edit the Compare Mode settings. In the case of all the split modes, you can reset the bar to its default position. But if you switch to the Grid Mode, you can adjust the size of the square blocks. Now, if you wanted to adjust the grid in the viewport, you can hold Shift T and drag in the viewport. This works irrespective of the Edit Compare Modes dialog window being visible or not. And in fact, this is the same behaviour in any comparison mode. If you switch to the Difference Comparison mode, Shift T will adjust the gain. Shift Y will adjust the minimum value. And Shift U will adjust the maximum value. Switching to the Blend Compare mode, you simply have a mix value, which can also be adjusted in the viewport. And finally, you can switch to the Side by Side mode, which does not have any settings to adjust. So the Edit Compare mode settings does not lock up the interface, and you can adjust the settings in the sliders or interactively in the viewport. So hopefully, with all these comparison modes, you should be able to compare images quite effectively. So that's how you would compare image references within the effects environment. Now before we look at how image comparisons work in the batch node compositing environment, it's worth knowing that all your grabbed references are managed by your Flame project. So all the reference images in the Explorer are saved in a separate library known as the Grabbed References Library. And these can be wired between projects and workstations, and even archived as part of backing up the project. Please watch the series on grading and VFX with the Explorer, which covers all these topics in greater detail. For the last part of this video, switch to the Batch view or go into an existing Batch FX. Now, the great thing about working with image comparisons in the Flame products is that the workflow is almost identical in each environment. So you can grab references like you saw earlier, and all the Compare menus are in the same place. So you can choose a Compare mode with the pull down menu or keyboard shortcuts. And you can also choose a reference image with the reference pull down menu and keyboard shortcuts. And don't forget, you can also call up the Explorer using the Flame main menu or keyboard shortcut and you can visually go through all the references matching the same behaviour in the effects and timeline environments. The only difference when comparing images in Batch is what you compare to. For example, the grabbed reference images are available everywhere. But when you are in Batch or Batch Effects, you can use the current node inputs and outputs as compare references. You can also choose any node set it as a context, and use that context view as the comparison reference. So that covers how to use the comparison modes when working in the context of grading and VFX. When using the compare modes in the context of the timeline, the controls are similar, 
but they have been tweaked to focus on the specific tasks when working in that context. If that is something you do in your everyday production, please check out the video Comparing Images in the Timeline. Don't forget to check out the other features, workflows and enhancements to the Flame 2021.1 update. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.